I don't want to go on that. <laughs> What's the crack? Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm Darish Guy Vlogs, and today I'm going to be doing a quick geocaching update. So you might have seen some of my other geocaching videos in the past, and uh, if you haven't, you can watch them here. But I've talked about a bigger geocaching project that I actually want to do, and today is kind of the official start of it, because the geocaches have finally arrived. And here they are. There's five in total. Two big ones, three small ones, and uh, they're waterproof, weatherproof, apparently. <laughs> Even though they came from China, I, I bought them on Wish. I'm not 100% sure like of their quality, but they seem they seem decent, and you know they're going to do for time being anyway, at least. The insides look pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure if I'll keep these or not for the insides, but um, you kind of get the idea. I'm not 100% sure exactly what's going to go into each cache yet. It's hard to open these with one hand. <laughs> there we go. So uh, it's, I'm not 100% sure what, what exactly is going to go into each cache, but you get the idea of how they look. I mean, you could put in some fragile stuff in there, but yeah, I mean, I'm probably not going to. My idea is to have things inside in the geocaches that will give you the coordinates so there's certain things you'd have to do within the boxes that will tell you the coordinates so that, so that could be anything from like little puzzles that take a couple of minutes and then give you the coordinates or some kind of jigsaw or something like that or there's a couple of different ways of doing it and I'm trying to get creative with how I do it so that each box is kind of unique to you know itself but they all tie together and that's kind of the main idea of this geocache so I'm not going to reveal too much about it just yet but the five boxes the two big ones are going to be at the start and finish, and then there's going to be three small ones in between. And the idea is that all five boxes tie together through a common story. The first box will obviously start your story, the following three boxes will tell the story, and the final box will end the story. The idea is that the first box will be at a location, maybe on the outskirts of Kilrush. The final box will be at a location, possibly close to the outskirts of Kilrush. But between the first box and the last box, it kind of takes you through a journey of Kilrush and some of the history and some of the stories and stuff like that but it's going to be told in a way that I'm trying to piece together from like a point of view that's going to be really really unique and you know it's just going to be I'm basically trying to tell a story that weaves Kilrush together in an interesting way that people can people can relate to and people find interesting and people want to be able to tell other people about because it brought them on an adventure you know so these five boxes will all be part of that they're all going to be official geocaches in the end uh, they're all tied together as one geocache and um, yeah it's going to be fun I think I have enough space for what I want to do I should have it took like a month for these to arrive from China but I think all together they only cost me it was less than 20 euros for all for all five um, and I think actually pretty cool I might actually order some of these for like little camera parts and stuff that I have and like you know you could definitely put lenses and stuff into these as well so anyway this isn't a plastic box review this is an update for the geocaches I have to talk to some people in Kilrush as well and this is I know a lot of my viewers are from Kilrush and because this geocache is going to be based in Kilrush I would really really love to know if you have any ideas on where I could hide the geocaches because I have a couple of ideas myself like I have the main I have the starting point and I have the end point but I would love to be able to find three other spots that would be able to tell a nice story about Kilrush that you but it would have to be able to be hidden somewhere that's accessible 24 7 public as well you know but hidden i guess so i've been trying to think of places a couple do spring to mind but i don't want to be sending people on wild goose chases all over the place yeah there's a couple of people that i have to talk to as well because i want to leave the caches in certain places and i want to make it official and these places might not be seen as the most friendliest place to leave a cache in so well not friendliest but like i don't know it's, it, it might be just like a bit yeah. <laughs> disrespectful maybe and I don't want it to be like that so that's why I need to talk to people and to show them my intentions behind it because I want this to be positive I want, it, I want people to be able to go to locations where the cache is there feel the history behind where it is and you know be able to interact and relate to it and learn something you know so that's why I don't want to step on anyone's toes. I want I want to do this officially and I want to talk to the right people who will be able to make this last for a long period of time and get people interested in it and hopefully bring more people into Kilrush to do more activities here, you know, because that's kind of why I'm doing this. And that's the update on the geocaches. I was going to go and check my own one today, but it's 
it's a little bit wet out and I wasn't really just <laughs> feeding up to the walk today to be honest but yeah I know a couple of people have found it and uh, yeah it's been pretty cool so I'm excited now to get this one up and running and like I'm excited to know if anyone watching has any ideas so if you do know any locations in Kilrush where I could hide the geocache and possibly tell a story about it or tie in something some kind of nice history around Kilrush then let me know I would really appreciate it and you'd get to be in the video or you'd get like a mention in the video or yeah you get a shout out or whatever so if you have any ideas let me know down in the comments and you might be able to tell from my voice as well I'm like a little bit small bit blocked up a little nasally kind of I think it's just a change in the weather which I've been kind of busy I've been trying to plan a lot of videos and stuff lately I'm getting there to be honest I've been getting there a lot of them are just kind of further off in the distance and it's kind of annoying you know because I really want to make them and even this geocaching video, you know, I know it's going to take me like another month maybe or more to be able to make it official, talk to the right people and be able to get it put into the right places and stuff like that. But I don't mind that, you know, I, I actually like that, I actually like the process of having the idea, starting it and doing it for however long it takes, if it's worth it to do it, you know. So um, I am excited to get the geocaching video going. I'm excited to get all my other other videos going as well. You know, I like, to, I like to mix it up, I like to have a variety and stuff like that and sometimes I'll say, oh I'm gonna do this video like next week and then I get distracted by something else because I think, oh but this is a better video now or I can actually do this video right now, you know, without like having to spend the crazy amount of money or whatever, you know, so. Sometimes I do get sidetracked and stuff like that, but, you know, all these videos, they will be out. <laughs> and I would probably just get bored if I didn't, you know, if I was just turning out the same thing over and over, I would get really bored and it wouldn't be good for me and it wouldn't be good for you watching either, you know, so. But something else that I am up to is I started another course, like, two, was it two weeks back, two or three weeks back? And it hasn't been, like, an active course where I can, like, film loads of things and do stuff like that. The course that I'm doing now is a continuation of the Read Your Local Landscaping course which I did uh, about six months ago, something like that. Uh, you can watch the videos that I did about that here, I have a playlist with all the videos. But this course now is a continuation of that and it's called the ICANN course. So they're allowing us to pick topics that we find interesting and do write-ups about them. And then we submit these write-ups to the National Archive, or the National Public Archive I think it is. And uh, they'll be in the archives forever like for people to read about these topics and for people to research and stuff like that. So I'm going to be making videos for the archive and my plan is to maybe make five or six videos in total over the next couple of months. I did one of them last week on the little arc and I know myself that I want to submit that to the archive because it's nice and historical, there's a good story in it. It would be nice to see that ending up in the archive along with other videos that I'm going to be doing so you're going to see videos like that, you're going to see some historical videos, mini documentaries. I feel like I've, I'm, I did this video a couple of weeks ago back. <laughs> so my friend Andy that you might have seen from a couple of my videos, he got in contact with me last week and he was telling me about these crazy stories from North Clare, like absolutely mental stuff and I want to research more into them. So there's kind of like a mix of mythology but like fact as well which is kind of what history is you know it's like so <laughs> yeah Anyway, I know I kind of make these update videos every once in a while and it seems like maybe not much progress is made but to me having these five boxes here now is really what's going to kickstart off this other stream of videos and this other stream of content for my channel. So it's nice that I have them here and it's nice to be able to now start working on them and move forward. It's just nice to be able to use this as like a catalyst for other videos and to be able to shoot off from this you know so yeah it's cool I'm excited about it and yeah. I kind of feel bad for not going to see my geocache in a couple of weeks, but it's not really feeling like it today. No, it's not raining a whole lot, but yeah, I'd rather not. And that is it for me for this week. It's only a quick update on what's going on with the geocaches, and hopefully with the help from my viewers, I'm going to have more ideas to be able to find places in Kilrush to be able to put these boxes and to make the best kind of linked geocache series that I can. Please, dog. Please. You, li you literally only bark when I do vlogs. Seriously, that dog knows when I'm doing vlogs, he just does, it's just, uh, but whatever. <laughs> and that's it for this week, I'll see you again next Friday with another video. Bye.